Hi everybody, it's Avishai again from Piano Freak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a tumbao. Tumbao is the bass line of the salsa, and we are going to learn how to play it on piano with our left hand. With my right hand, I'm going to play a montuno, and I'm going to show you how to combine both of them together. So stay with me, let's go. So now let's focus on the tumbao. For this example, I'm going to use three notes, C, G, and C again. Now let's see the count. The first note is fall on the first beat, on the one, one, like this. All the other notes falling on the end of the two and four, the end of the two and four. So I count it like this. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, Two and three, four, one, two and three, four. All the time. Two and four, two and four. Again. One, two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four. And that's the idea. Now let's take another progression. We are going to play one, two, five, one progression, which means that if we are playing in the key of C major, the one will be the C note, two will be D, five will be G, and we go back to one to C. I also can use a passing note, which helped me to pass between the chords. Let's take a look. One, two, Three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four, one. And now I'm going to show you the Montuno roll of the right hand. Let's imagine that we're playing a C minor chord like this. Then we take this, the thumb one step up to the A flat. And then let's imagine that we are playing a G chord. And we take the thumb to the F note. That's the basic. Now I'm going to show you how to play it. One, two, three, and. Now let's combine both of them together. Tumbao against Montuno. I'm gonna play it with my both hands in the same time. For the beginners, it can be a little bit difficult, but you should practice. I'm gonna do it very slowly, very carefully. One, two, three, and.
If you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumb button. If you are new here, consider subscribe. I've got a new video once a week, so if you want to follow all my piano lessons and tutorial, you should subscribe. Let's go. Now I'm going to show you another trick that I use sometimes. Instead of playing the G chord, like this, I can arpeggiate the note of the chord, like this. So, if I play... Another thing that I want to show you, I can double the G note instead of play. I double it like this and I play the same. That's it everybody, I hope you like this lesson. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumb button. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.